The May wildfires that ravaged the northern Alberta community of Slave Lake caused an estimated $700 million in insured losses, making it the second costliest insured disaster in Canadian history. Immediately after the fire started, several insurance companies mobilized to the area, setting up claim centers and doing business in the middle of a disaster zone. Intact Insurance set up three mobile claim centers to assist its Slave Lake customers. Now, nearly two months later, Intact Insurance's president, Louis Gagnon, says there's still a lot of work to be done. It's a disaster. I, th- I, think, I think what we have first to think about is the people that lost their home, lost their, their everything. They, we have to try to make sure that we uh, reinsure those people. We make them feel that uh, solutions are coming. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a big task of, uh, of rebuilding. Um, we are at it. We've been at it uh, since the first day. Um, I think it's going as good as the people that are suffering those things could tell you there. Uh, on our side, I think we will do, and uh, as I mentioned from day one, we will do everything we can. And you know what? This is why we exist. And, and, and you know, I mean, I mean we, we, we talked many times about the financial loss and the financial aspect, but, but that's our business. And, and you know what? If you cannot shine, if you cannot good, during those period, I don't think you should be in that business. That's why we are in that business and we'll do, uh, as I mentioned, uh, everything we can to make sure that the, the life of those people are back the way they were before. So uh, it's, it's also, I would say, a lesson for all of us to make sure that we, uh, we use more prevention, uh, that we prepare ourselves uh, a bit better for stuff that uh, we thought that couldn't exist or that wouldn't happen. I, th- I think prevention is going to also become um, for for water damage for those kind of large disaster. I think we will have to be more aware, uh, and, and I think we will have a role going forward as an industry to educate the people to make sure that they understand consequences of uh, of, of living in a wooden area, living on a coast, living on the on a river band. You know, I mean, th- th- those are are, are things that I think will have to be more. Uh, more out there, and I think we will have, uh, as an industry, a role to play in, uh, in communicating those things.